This is before and this is after. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I built my very first garden fence from scratch. It was a fun and challenging project that took me a few days to complete, but I'm really happy with the results. And in this video I'll share with you the steps I followed, the materials I used and the tips and tricks I learned along the way. So if you're interested in learning how to make your own garden fence, keep watching and enjoy. I'll also go through the costs in the end of the video. And also I'll put the materials I used in the description. First you want to set a starting point with a ground anchor and a piece of lumber. I started in the corner just to make sure everything was nice and square. Then whack it with a sledgehammer, a hammer or whatever you have. Then I tied my string from the starting point and I tried to make a straight line to where I want the fence to go. After that I measured the total length of the fence to calculate where to put my fence posts. I made them sit with even spacing in between. What is the recommended spacing? I don't know. I used 1.75 five meters or almost six feet. The reason I went with ground anchors for the fence posts and not concrete is because of time and money. I was told by several people, including uh, the guys at the big box store, that using concrete in this type of fence is just a waste of time and money. So we'll see if they're right and we'll see how well this fence holds up. After figuring out your spacing of the fence posts, I used some rebar to mark out where the fence posts were supposed to go. But you can use anything, sticks, scrap wood, just make sure it's reasonably accurate and you follow the string line. Then you just carry on as you did with the starting ground anchor. Keep whacking them down with the sledgehammer and make sure you are in line with the next fence post. So double check all the time to get it straight. I wanted to minimize the scrap to save some money, so I cut the first fence post to the height I wanted the fence to be. I then took a spirit level and made sure it was level, to then get a measurement for cutting the next fence post and keep everything even with the ground. This was not the easiest when working alone. I used some screws to keep everything in place while measuring and marking for the next cut. And as you can see, it worked flawlessly. Then just take the fence post and cut it. I'm using a chopped saw to make my cuts, but you can do this with a circular saw as well. You just gotta be more careful to get everything square and even. I am using just regular deck screws that are rated for outdoor use. I then screw some planks into the upper part of the post just to keep everything reasonably level and square. The fence posts have a quite a bit of flex just by themselves. After squaring everything up I used my big dog screws, uh, yeah they're actually called that, to fasten the ground anchors to the fence posts and I made sure to pre-drill because the screws are quite big and you don't want the lumber to crack. The big dog screws are also rated for outdoor use. This is now the final layout of the actual fence. It's all squared up and it's all even and it's all straight. Now it's time to add the slats. So measure and cut the slats 
and make sure the edge of the slat is in the middle of a fence post. You always want to screw the edges into the posts. Then use a spirit level to make sure it's level and screw in the first slat. This is the tricky part, it gets easier after the first row is done. I'm trying to make this fence just a little bit fancy, so I'm going to cut a 45 degree angle in the corner of the fence. Just double check when you measure. To make sure the spacing of the slats are even, cut some blocks out of the slats with the spacing you want. We chose 4 cm or 1.6 inches. Then just balance the next slat on the previous one and voila, even spacing and level. Now it's a matter of just doing it over and over again. And try to make sure the joints are not always on the same fence post. It will look a bit silly. And there you go, that's the final result. I am quite pleased with this fence to be honest. Not the most stable in the world, but it will do the trick. Now for the price of everything. First, remember I live in Finland, so the prices are quite steep. So for six ground anchors, one box of big dog screws, one box of deck screws, the treated slats, the treated fence posts, and some string, a total of 451 euros or 492 dollars and 34 cents. That's crazy. But yes, it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching.